Mm-mm-mm. Anthony Joshua. Oh my goodness. Him, Eddie Hearn. Uh, they just can't stop it, can they? Um, you know, Anthony Joshua admitting um, that he shouldn't have given Andrew Ruiz his belts before the fight happened. <laughs> no shit, dude. Um, <laughs> talk about uh, foreshadowing. You know, maybe AJ Dooley's going to lose the fight before everyone else did. Uh, with the, him giving Andy Ruiz the belt before the actual fight happened. You know, he said um, if he was a, what did he say, if he was a promoter or manager, he wouldn't recommend his fighter giving uh, his opponent the belt. Uh, duh. That should really go without saying. You shouldn't even have to tell a fighter that. Like, why would you ever give him the belt? Um, I, I'm not trying to laugh or be mean or rude, but what, I'm starting to wonder if AJ's like a big kid, you know, like, I, I don't know. He seems a little bit different, you know. He seems to be in his feelings, and when any time um, somebody talks about him leaving his trainer, he, he's not the first boxer in the world for people to say, hey, you should switch trainers, you know, or whatever the case may be, or the trainer's trash, or blah, blah, blah. You know, people thought Canelo should have left the ring after he got schooled up by Mayweather. But he stuck around, and he actually got better. So, you know, people can say whatever they want, man. You don't have to take it to heart. It's just a suggestion. It's just an opinion, you know. What you do with it, that's up to you, you know. Do I think he should leave Robert Kraken? Actually, yes, I think he should. But, you know, that's that's up to you. And Anthony Joshua also saying that Ruiz got him by a lucky punch. No, he didn't, you know. Ruiz capitalized on your mistake and you getting too um, too gun ho and trying to knock him out, getting way too close in range, and he was able to capitalize you being in too close. And with him having the hand speed advantage, him having um, more fluid combination punching, he was able to catch you, you know. And then eventually he was able to continue it on and pile it on and eventually get you up out of there. Or at least, you know, make you... Um, you know, quit the fight. So, you know, and I thought the last, pretty much ever since the Klitschko fight, AJ has fought guys that have been 6-4 and under with a bit of quickness. Carlos Tackham, Joseph Parker, Alexander Povetkin, and then Andrew Ruiz. What do they all have in common? All got experience, all 6-4 and under, all a little bit quicker than you think, and they all gave AJ some trouble. Carlos Tackham, not so much, because he's kind of a gatekeeper journeyman. Um, but Vekin was definitely giving him an issue. Joseph Parker was definitely giving him an issue, except for that loony ref who ruined the fight. Um, and then now Andrew Ruiz. He struggled, he's been struggling with the same type of fighter in the last four fights. Now, where this is where Eddie Hearn gets the blame is... Three fights in a row, he's struggling with the same thing. Six, four, and under dudes with a little bit of quickness have all given AJ problems. So maybe you should stop throwing them in there with six, four, and under quick dudes because they've all given him an issue. So maybe instead of a late replacement with Andrew Ruiz, probably should have went with somebody else. Didn't have to be necessarily Dillian White or um, Luis Ortiz because he was a southpaw. But you keep putting them under with, you know, Little dudes with a little bit of quickness, they keep making AJ look bad. And that's, you know, three fights in a row. It's like, dude, okay, he clearly struggles with this style. So until he, you know, works on that, stop putting him in there with that, you know. I'm not condoning cherry picking or ducking, but if you see your fighter struggling with the same shit back to back to back, maybe you should switch it up a little bit. I don't know, trainer, something, because you keep struggling with the same thing over and over again. That's literally insane, doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a new result. I don't know, that's just me. But, um, and then Eddie Hearn had that fake uh, press conference in Saudi Arabia. The fight's still not happening over there. I never thought it was. And Ruiz said, we're still working on this deal. It's not going to happen in Saudi Arabia. It's probably not going to happen in Mexico. It's probably not going to happen in the UK. Um, the only way it happens in Saudi Arabia is if Andy Ruiz's paycheck goes way up. Um, I'm thinking probably at least 20, 
some mil. I think they only offered him like nine million for the fight. Um, but if you don't want to pay Andrew Ruiz that money, then you got to keep that fight in the States, where I think it should happen anyway. Um, you know, let Adrian truly, if this is a bounce back, let him truly bounce back. You know, I don't think he should do the immediate rematch anyway, because I don't think he's going to learn what he needs to learn in one fight camp. But, hey, to each his own. Um, you know, but Andrew Ruiz also said he did start training uh, today or yesterday. So I think it was yesterday. His trainer, uh, Manny Robles, said that. So uh, they're starting training camp finally. Um, I don't know what team AJ's been doing other than making interviews and stuff. Uh, but he's always in good shape. So you know, I trust AJ to be in good shape. But mentally, I'm not sure where AJ's at stylistically. AJ got to learn how to get a clinch or um, start working on that inside fight game. But like I said, it's not going to happen in one fight camp. Typically, that takes three camps or so to really. Um, get comfortable with um, kind of like not necessarily new style, but new you know new pieces to your style. Um, but AJ definitely, definitely needs to learn how to clinch. You don't want to learn from Lennox Lewis. You don't want to get a new trainer. This might actually sound weird, but you know who was actually good in a clinch? It was actually Klitschko. I would actually hit him up if I was the AJ and have him um, you know come to camp and help him. Learn how to do a clinch because Klitschko was actually really good at that. Or Kel Brook, also really good in the clinch. That was one of um, probably fans' only grievance with him when he fought Sean Porter. People thought he clinched too much. Um, so you could ask, he was also a fellow countryman, so you could ask Kel Brook, former rival Klitschko. Um, who else is pretty good in the clinch? Uh, that could help him out. Not too many people clinch nowadays, but uh, those would be my top two options at least. But, um, you know, it sounds like Team AJ is kind of all over the place. The fight's still not a done deal, but, it's you know, it's going to happen next because, you know, contractually they have to do it. Um, and AJ is exercising his rematch clause. Uh, the real problem is just when and where, you know. I'm thinking probably December. It's the where that's really more the issue. Where is it going to happen? Like I said, for it to happen in Saudi Arabia... Got to pay the man. Nine mil is not going to cut it. We're probably going to have to du double it for sure and maybe even triple it. But it still could happen in the States, maybe in L.A., maybe Vegas. I would say do it in Vegas. Um, but, you know, like I said, we'll see what happens. Drop comments, like, subscribe, stay tuned. Let me know what you guys think about Andrew Lee's AJ the rematch. You think AJ's being a hair sensitive with everyone calling for him to get a new trainer. You can do whatever you want, but... You know, like I said, it's just an opinion. It's like assholes. Everyone's got one. But, um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Drop comments, like, subscribe, stay tuned, share the video. You guys take it easy.